I'm going to change a door latch uh, on my truck today on the driver's door. Passenger door just about never needs that because most drivers don't have that many uh, passenger passengers opening the door over there all the time but the driver's door gets opened quite a few times every day and it's this piece here and I do have to take this cover off to get inside and unhook it otherwise it bolts on outside for the most part here's an issue with the door is it locks this truck is 22 years old or 23 years old and um, it's 23 years old at this time. It'll close and it'll lock, but I have to slam it kind of hard because it's just got a little too much play. And that's because of this lock has just got some, when it's in the locked position, it's just got some free play in there. So I'm gonna change that and that's gonna help with that. And another thing, the door gasket on the bottom is uh, getting bad. I've changed this before, but I guess I'll do it again. Not today, though. It's, it's scrubbing and rubbing on the bottom and coming off. And since I drive local, my door gets opened a lot more. And here's another thing I'm going to address a little bit. This hinge right here, this is a hinge stop. And... That's to stop the door from opening too far, but there's been so many times that I open the door in windy weather, and if I don't catch it quick enough, it'll snatch it out of my hand and fly open and, and really put a strain on that thing. So I'm going to unhook this, or maybe I don't have to. I'm going to at least grab these and bend them back a little bit, straighten them out, see if that uh, helps any. All right, there was just a couple of T20 um, screws, one there, one there, and a T25 up here on the window crank. We got some little snaps. I'm going to use this old window tool. This is when I was a car mechanic, this is what uh, almost all the windows were, window cranks and door handle cranks were put on with a uh, little spring clip that you put on the back of the, you put on the handle and then you snapped it on and then you needed a tool like this to get it off. Well, I don't run into those cars very much anymore, but I still use this sometimes to undo these snaps inside of these things here. They make a fork for this, but I don't have one. I still use this thing. I'm going to go on ahead and pop those off. These things here. Screwdriver. We'll get them off. A big screwdriver. Okay, I got that panel off, and just about always, there's going to be a couple or three of these. Uh, it's a good thing they put more on than what you need that are going to break off of that cardboard panel. And uh, I use a pair of dikes to get them off. I don't, you know, you don't squeeze it tight enough to cut it. And I, I take them off with that. It's easier to do it with two hands, but uh, I got a couple more to get off, and uh, we'll put them on as many holes that are still good as possible when we put it back. And then I got to take this panel off. I got an access panel here where the plate is missing that used to go on there, but I can't. Uh, I can't get my lock is way up here so that's not going to help me down there um, I'm going to take this panel off There's a bunch of little screws holding it on or at least take it loose I've run into problems on mine I've got things 
this old plastic is rotting away and breaking apart on the inside and it has um, these three screws right here will not come out they just turn and turn and turn and uh, so whatever they're threaded into is broke loose on the inside and spinning and I can't get at it and the other end of it is the top two bolts on the latch here the top two bolts are that's one of them there and the second one underneath it that is a a permanent nut that is mounted in plastic inside part of this thing that is broken off those pieces were laying in the bottom of the door here they are and they um, of course that's not fixable but it looks like the third nut looks like the third bolt has a nut on the back just like this is hard to do on camera but the, these three down here have a nut I don't know if I'm getting this. Those are nuts there that I can get a wrench on. But um, I didn't take this panel off completely because I don't want the window to fall. It probably won't fall. It might stay up there. I don't know if it will or not. Because these four here go to the window. I can try it and see. Okay, I'm still trying. I got a wrench on the bottom of this one here. Of course, I can't... Uh, I need two hands to work this so I have to put the camera down. No way to tripod the camera and keep it on the subject here. I got one nut on, off underneath and when I put it back of course I'm only going to have one on the top and then three on the bottom. I'm not worried about that. I, I got a long nose vice grip in here on this this nut on the inside of course you can't put a wrench on it because it's round and I'm getting this top one it's fighting with me but it's coming off it's tight but it's coming off I think I'm gonna put the camera down try to get both of those out that way well there's the nut and it obviously went inside this was part of what it goes in um, got one off, I gotta get the other one. Well, the top half of that latch, or the top two of the upper three bolts screw, like I already said, into, into this plastic piece here, and it's all gone. It was shattered and broken in pieces. It was still there, but all broken, and it all was falling out. But I got those three off the top. I could still put a nut in on another one of the top ones. I might do that if I can fight with it enough to do it. The bottom ones, let me get down here. The bottom ones, I can get in here and get a nut. Or get those off of there with a wrench. Put a wrench on the nut and take those off. Got all the bolts off. Now I just got to undo this thing right here just unsnap this off of that push the rod out of it and hopefully this will come out of there might need a screwdriver to pry on it a little bit got it all on there got it on tight Ugh, I'm climbing back up here and I did put those those two nuts and washers on, put those those bolts back in on the top, and I put two washers and nuts on there that uh, out of my junk since I can't put it back the way it was without finding this part here and replacing it. Well, obviously that's not available anymore. I'm not even going to try to find that. That'd be a junkyard item only, and from the junkyard is probably going to be in the same condition so all I got to do now is 
start putting the door back together. All of these screws across the bottom broke off. I can put bigger screws in, but I have to get the uh, um, little studs out of the holes. I'd have to drill those out or just put new screws in alongside of them, self-tapping screws. I can do that. That's probably what I'll just do. Well, the upper left corner of this sheet metal piece here, right next to the latch, there's a long screw that went in there and this little plastic corner was like a spacer. It was it was part of that. So I'm going to have to hold that here, put the long screw in, and then try to find this little clip back here. It's awful loose, so it wants to keep falling down. I might need to do something to keep that from falling down. I got lucky. I got that one in. That one was going to need that spacer or else I couldn't put that screw in tight and it would never stay tight and wind up unscrewing and falling out. So now I can put the rest of these in. Got all the screws back in that I was able to take out. The ones that broke off, like I said, I'm just going to take these little guys here. What are these? 8 by 12 self-tapping screws. They're short ones. And uh, the 8 is the diameter across. I don't know exactly what it means. Uh, oh, 8 by half, I should have said. 8, eight by half, that's not 12. Um, anyway, these are little tiny things, and I kind of like use them on uh, putting duct work together and stuff like that. They're quarter inch heads on them. And let's see if I can, I don't know if I can do this with one hand or not, but I'll try. I really need to be squeezing these door, this door tight together. But I'm just going to put one of these in next to one, to each one of these holes that broke off. And I'm just going to push it on there tight and drill a hole. And a second that thing sucks in and, and touches, i got to stop or it'll break it off. In my case, with this F FLD, these two longer self-tapping screws. Let's see, I don't know if we got a picture of the self-tapping tip there it is with washers on them these go on the outside of this panel one of them goes here right there and the other one goes right down here and uh, so I'm setting those aside for last and now these here plastic body things whatever these are called I'm going to put those back on I don't know exactly where they go. These panels usually won't take all of them back because they break. Um, this one's broke. I'm going to try to screw it back in there. They just screw in. You got this little thing on the back here. You just stick the point to that in the hole and then you just twist it until it flattens out. Like so. It's pretty self-explanatory. But some people have never done body work and they have not gotten acquainted with that yet. So I've got one, two, three more holes, but only two more of these to put on. Look, there's more holes than that, but those these are holes that obviously had these in them. And if I went through my body junk, I might find another one, but I really don't care. Some of these on a car, they got a hook up here that goes in the window. You got to hook that first, and then you press this against the door and put it on. I, I need two hands to put it on. 
I'm going to spray a little lithium grease down in these joints, and then um, then I'm going to I'm going to wipe a little regular bearing grease over the top of it because that lithium grease has a tendency to dry up. But I won't be able to get that heavier grease down inside these joints where I want it. This stuff will melt down in there. But like I said, it has a tendency to dry up, so... And this should be well greased up here, because it's brand new. I don't know what other people do. I just used to just spray the lithium in there, but since it dries up, I kind of started putting this stuff over it and to see if that helps any keep it from drying up. Oh well, now I'm going to put my panel back on there. I got two of them already started, but what I got to do is carefully find the holes. I got to feel for them and get the tip of those little body things started in a hole. I'm not finding this one. There it is. I can see it. And then you just punch them with the heel of your hand. You drive them in. Whoops. I got a couple in the middle somewhere. I got to try to find those. Well, the upper one is lining up, but the bottom one is not. So much for that. You just got to do that all the way around till it's done. Put your uh, window crank back on whichever way you like it when the window's up so that it's not bothering your knee. Finishing up on this door latch job, I need to adjust the catch right there or the striker. And I can get by without it if I just slam the door. I don't have to slam it real hard, but it. Um, It'll lock pretty tight right there, but it is a little bit tight, so I'm going to go in ahead and loosen this up. And let's see here, I've got a, I got, it's a, in my case, it's a Torx T50. And you can see these little slides, adjustments right here, this and this. Okay, this one's already out most of the way out. This one down here looks like it has some more room. It can it can come out a little bit more. I need to adjust this out just a little bit. There's a nut in the back that's not going to fall off. At least it shouldn't. If it does, then you got to pull this body work apart. I mean this uh, paneling apart on the inside and go fish it out of there. But you can take that loose and do, use two hands for that. And uh, Loosen that up and then just adjust it back out just a little bit. You can take an ink pen and mark behind the washer on the side that you're not going to be moving it to so you can see how far you're going with it or something like that if you want to. I moved it out a little bit. You can see this bottom one is now farther out this way, the little rivet there that holds it in place. Now I'm going to go back in here and close the door and see.
doesn't sound like it has as much stress on it when I open the, the door. I think that's good right there.